Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. Today I am at Walmart. It is still February, so I am on my $50 a week grocery budget and I am trying to use up what I have in my pantry and freezer. So I did stop by Hy-Vee before this just because they had a lot of stuff on sale that was actually cheaper than Walmart. So I'll show you that stuff when I get home, but I'm gonna go ahead and run into the store, uh, see what I can get for the remainder of my money. I am going to use some Ibotta and some Fetch Rewards, so I'll tell you about that when I get home. Okay, so here are all the groceries that I got. So I ended up spending around $83 on groceries. However, I did get a lot of things that were eligible for Ibotta rebates and Fetch Rewards. And all in total, I got $32 back on those rebate apps. So <laughs> technically I was right on budget uh, with the $83 minus the 32. So I will kind of say which things were on a rebate, but if you guys don't have Ibotta and or Fetch, just pause this video, go down in the description box, click on the link <laughs> and you can get it because I promise they aren't gimmicks. Actually on Ibotta, I have earned over $2,000 back in rewards over the past couple years and then usually my fetch rewards i cash those out for amazon gift cards and then uh, i just use them like when i need to order things on amazon or like if i want a cookbook or something like that so i'll have both of those things or both of those apps rather linked down below some things actually you can redeem on both apps so it's kind of nice to see you know what you can get back and save on your groceries let me start over here so I did get four of the Wee yogurts. I got one peach, one lemon, one black cherry, and one mango. I think I've tried most of these flavors before. The mango one is really good. And these were on an Ibotta rebate, plus I printed a coupon off of coupons.com. And so I'm not sure of the price that it made these, but it did take quite a substantial amount off. Uh, I got these last week, and Connor really liked them. It's the Chobani. Uh, the drinkable yogurts so I got two of the strawberry banana and two of the mixed berry and these ended up being about half price with the rebate I got some sour cream um, some of my favorite cottage cheese this is the 4% small curd AE dairy I also got some the Oikos, some of the Oikos Greek yogurt. Um, I did make my own homemade yogurt a couple weeks ago, but that's all gone and I haven't had a chance to make any more yet. And I've been liking to take yogurt to work for my breakfast. So I've been taking like yogurt and some granola and a little bit of fruit and then just making my own parfait. So I got one orange cream and one lemon meringue. And then I actually got these at Hy-Vee. They were 60 cents each and I had a coupon for 50 cents off five. So I ended up paying 50 cents a piece. And Connor really likes the orange cream Yo Play Light. So I got three of those for him. And then this is newer. Uh, I've seen it before, but I've never purchased it. It's actually Starburst Yo Play. So I got one cherry and one strawberry. So I don't know if I'll eat those or if the kids will eat them. Uh, but I thought those would be a fun thing to try. Needed cheese for a couple of recipes this week. And if I forgot to say, I will show you the meal plan also that I have made for this week. Uh, so I just grabbed a block of sharp cheddar. I figure this weekend I can shred some of it up in the food processor and then leave half of it, you know, maybe shred half of it and leave half of it in a block uh, for whatever I need it for. I got some lima beans. We haven't had lima beans in a while, and so I figured we could have those as a side for dinner this week. I grabbed some garlic, uh, three kiwis. Kira really likes these for fruit um, to have on hand, so I grabbed those for her. And then I got the oranges at Hy-Vee. They had these on sale for 66 cents a pound, the navel oranges, so I grabbed four of those. I got one head of romaine lettuce. It's quite a large one from Walmart. And then they had bananas on sale for 28 cents a pound at Hy-Vee, so I went ahead and grabbed those. They also had baby carrots on sale for a uh, dollar a bag at Hy-Vee, so I just grabbed one of those. And then I ended up getting the mini cucumbers at Walmart. These were around $2.25, I think. And I have some hummus in the fridge, and so I thought this would be um, good to go with that hummus along with the baby carrots. 
And then from Walmart, I also got some Ooh. tomatoes just for snacking and salads. And then Hy-Vee had their red grapes on sale. $1.64 a pound, I think, which was actually a dollar cheaper a pound than Walmart had them, so that's why I got those there. Uh, okay, so I got some mild sausage at Walmart um, for biscuits and gravy for breakfast tomorrow morning. And then this I had a coupon for, and also it was on an Ibotta rebate. So I think I got a dollar off in total, but this is the Hormel Natural Choice Smoked Deli Ham. Uh, we like this for sandwiches, and then sometimes we make breakfast sandwiches with it. I got some shredded mozzarella cheese and a uh, applewood, applewood smoked turkey breast. This is the Oscar Mayer Natural. This was a fetch rebate, and so that's why I chose to get that one. I got some margarine. Um, we just keep this on hand for like when I make grilled cheese sandwiches and um, toast. That's really the only thing we use it for, and that was on. I bought a rebate as well. I got two dozen large eggs from Hy-Vee. These were on sale for 68 cents each, which is actually cheaper than my Aldi has them. At Aldi, they're 78 cents. There was a limit too, so I only got two, but that was a great deal. Uh, I bought it also had a rebate on SpaghettiOs. I can't remember what it was, but if you bought four, you got a rebate. And uh, these are always nice to have on hand in the pantry. Both my kids like SpaghettiOs with meatballs. Uh, I got some of the True Lime Black Cherry Limeade. These are just the small drink packets these are really good i like to throw some of them in my bag to take to work and then i keep some of them here at home i got some milk i was running low on regular all-purpose flour so i grabbed a bag of that i always get the unbleached all-purpose flour um, and then i was i wanted to get some cereal uh, for the kids to have and so i went through my ibotta app and app and looked and they had a dollar off of this reese's puffs these are the Reese's Big Puffs. I, we've never had those before. I think they're new. Um, but Connor really likes the regular Reese's Puffs, so I figured why not. Uh, I got Cheez-Its Extra Toasty. This is the best flavor of Cheez-Its, in my opinion. They're delicious. I grabbed some croutons for salads. These are my favorite croutons, the New York Texas Toast ones. They're not that expensive either at Walmart, and I think they taste the best. I got some canola oil sprigs. I was running low on that. And then there is a recipe I want to try that calls for red velvet cake mix. So I might make that this week. I'm not sure. Um, this is hard to find. I feel like I went to Hy-Vee once and tried to find this and I couldn't find it. And then today at Walmart, I had to like crouch way down and look on the very back of the bottom shelf. And I found like two boxes of red velvet cake mix left. So not sure what's up with that. Um, the old El Paso was like a combination I bought a rebate. So if you bought three of these things, you got a bonus plus some off of each. So I got the green chili refried beans, the mild red enchilada sauce. And then Connor had asked me for these a while ago, and I just kept forgetting to get them. These um, soft tortilla bowls, like the flour tortillas. So I don't know if we'll have tacos this week, but I'll have those in the pantry for the next time we do. Uh, I got some fettuccine noodles. This is for uh, Alfredo recipe. And then I don't know that I've tried these before. They're almond sweet and salty bars. I like the Nature's Valley brand, but I saw these and they were only $1.44 for this whole box, which is like $2 cheaper than the name brand. And so I figured um, we would try them. Kira will probably also like these and take them to school for a snack. Uh, we were running low on juice pouches, and so I just decided to go on the cheap and get the Country Time Strawberry Lemonade little uh, Kool-Aid type <laughs> bottles. I'm sure the kids will think those are neat for lunches. I got some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. I like to keep these on hand for when I make muffins. And then I also got some of the Cadbury Shimmer mini eggs. These are so delicious, and you only get them around Easter. They're very good. Uh, I got a bag of popcorn chicken for uh, one night this week. I'm not gonna be home, and so I figured um, they, the kids and Adam could have popcorn chicken, and I think I have some tater tots in the freezer. And then I kind of stocked up on bread, so I did get 100% whole wheat uh, loaf of bread from Walmart. And then these two I'm gonna put in the freezer. It's the Sara Lee Honey Wheat Bread. This was on sale at Hy-Vee for $1.48, which is way on sale than what it usually is, and this is the bread that I usually use for the kids' sandwiches for school. So I'm just gonna put these out in the deep freeze. And sometimes I get questions about like freezing bread. Does it get freezer burnt? How do you thaw it? No, I've never had it get freezer burnt, but I use it up pretty 
fast and I have a deep freeze so it freezes at a colder temperature and things don't get as freezer burnt um, but when you want to use it just take it out and put it on the counter and let it thaw for maybe like three or four hours and it'll be fine okay so that's everything I got for food this is what I got for non food which for this month I am not counting in my $50 a week budget just so you're <laughs> aware of that I saw this in the aisle with all of the like foot stuff I guess shall we say it is a foot rasp and so this is like the cheese graters I think they use when you get a pedicure and I didn't know even know they sold these at Walmart um, but I went ahead and got one because I figured I could use it here at home instead of um, you know going and paying for a pedicure uh, everyone is raving about the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes uh, I feel like I've tried makeup wipe remover or makeup remover wipes before and I don't really like them, but I figured I would give these ones another try. This one says they remove makeup, even waterproof mascara, so I got those. Uh, I was out of flossers, so I got these. They're the Plackers Micro Mint. And then I got a six pack of Cottonelle. This is actually both a fetch rebate and a um, I bought a rebate, so I got kind of a two for one there. Uh, okay, so I got down this rabbit hole of beauty videos on YouTube the other night and there were several that I watched where they had these facial like razors, like these women's facial razors and it removes peach fuzz on your face, which I do have some even though I'm blonde so you can't really see it. Um, sometimes you can see it when you put makeup on, like when you put your foundation on, so I figured I would give these a try. I tried to find cheaper ones, but this one was a four pack for like $9. So anyway, I'll try them and I will see how they work. Let me know if you use these. It also says that it um, exfoliates your face, so that's interesting. Um, and then I also got this tea tree peel off mask. This was just one of those little packets for like $1.50. And then I really like these hair masks. Um, they're only a dollar fifty, and usually I can get two uses out of these. There's a lot of conditioner in there. Um, I haven't tried this one before. It's the Moroccan Mend Argan Oil. I have tried this one before, and I really like it. It's the Extremely Damaged Hair Repair. So if you have, um, you know, long hair or hair that's coarse or dry, I would recommend this one for sure. It works really, really well. Um, okay, Connor, or actually Adam, helped him put together one of his Valentine's Day presents, which was like a wood model car, and he wanted to paint it. Well, I have like a whole box of acrylic paint up in my um, office, but I've had it since I started scrapbooking like years and years ago, like 10 years ago probably, and so some of them are dried out. These are only 50 cents each at Walmart, so I figured I would just get replacements of them. Um, so I basically got all the colors of the rainbow plus black brown and white so we'll have those on hand uh, I got some uh, tampons these are the ones that I like it's the Kotex U and then I also got Murphy's and Bones which I already gave him one and then oh I forgot I got drinks so I got an eight pack of LaCroix they had these on sale for three dollars at Walmart uh, I got the orange flavor and then a 12 pack of the flavored sparkling water the cherry limeade from Walmart. So that is everything that I got at the store. Okay, so here is everything that we are going to have for dinner this week. Sometimes I get questions on the meal planner that I use, and I always have it linked in the in the description box along with a coupon code. This is the mini meal planner from Carrie L. This is my third one that I've had. I love them. Uh, can't live without them. So um, today is Saturday and actually we were supposed to have shrimp alfredo tonight but I ended up getting pizza because I was out too late getting groceries. So I'll probably move that to tomorrow um, with salad and garlic bread and then I'll probably move this to next week, the vegetable beef soup. That's something I can make later. Um, on Monday I have down crock pot chicken and noodles with green beans. Uh, Tuesday, salmon scampi with pasta and broccolini. I'll link the recipe for that. Wednesday, chicken nuggets, tater tots, and fruit. And then Thursday, I'm going to try a new recipe for barbecue meatballs, um, cheesy potatoes, and corn. And then Friday, we always go out or have pizza. 
All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for this week's grocery haul and meal plan video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Fetch and Ibotta. Both of those apps will be linked down below if you don't have them. Seriously, you can save a ton of money at the grocery store on stuff that you already buy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.